All right, Shalom. Before I get started, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shine, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shine, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shine. Kahala Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shine, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, great millstone who rule well and teach well, and who are the true leaders of Israel today. Also, like to give another shout out to the head of the, the head of the men of Israel camp. Uh, Kazat, whom I teach and die here in Greenville, South Carolina. I also like to give another shout out to Isha Se Akim throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing his truth and our sincerity and righteousness in these last days. I also like to give another shout out to uh, you, Israelite foreigners that's looking like the other heathen nations cause of confusion coming back to our heritage in these last days. And another quick shout out to you, if you out while these sisters out there that stand in order and doing what you need to do in these last days. All right, to y'all, I like to say Shalom. <clears throat> All right, in this, um, this is the Ayat Yashima coming back with another uh, quick little quick little exhortation through the spirit and power Yahweh by Shia was shy. So it's just gonna be a, a straight to the point video. You know, I'm not gonna, you know, um, spend too much time on this little bullshit ass, you know, holiday that Esau tried to give our people, man. All right, uh, called June 10th, man. All right, you know, this holiday was established, you know, two years ago, you know. Because, you know, uh it was a lot of shit going on around, you know, with Jake, you know, George George Floyd. I forgot the other little Zion name that died. Um, you know, it was just a lot of shit going on with Jake getting shot down by the police or whatnot. So, you know, Esau had to, you know, come out with a little holiday to make Jake feel good, you know what I'm saying? So, so you know, Jake can get all they ass, you know. So Esau, you know, gave him a little bullshit-ass holiday, all right? You know, you know, if our people got a holiday or whatnot, or, you know, matter of fact, uh, uh, our people got happy as hell when they said they was going to put, um, what's that bitch name, uh, Harriet Tubman, you know, our people got happy as hell when they said they was going to put her on a $20 bill. And guess what? Them niggas still ain't even did it, man. And they, was, they talked about that, what, two plus years ago, man? You know, over two plus years ago. They talked about that. And that shit still ain't even happened, man. You see, but Esau decided to give you niggas, you know, they really don't want no damn so-called black faces on no damn paper money at that. You know, so, so like, so, you know, they were like, fuck it, we'll just give these little niggas, we'll just give these niggas a holiday, man. You know? And saying, saying, you know, the holiday, they basically free. <laughs> and Jay, you know, Jay still think they free in America, man. Right? I'm going to read a little bit about the holiday. It says June 10th is a federal holiday. And if it's a federal holiday, why the hell we don't get off of that day? <laughs> All right? Uh, there go that red bird again, man. You know, it popped up in my last video, man. Call on y'all by Shein, I was shot. And, you know, you watched my last video, I pretty much... uh uh tight in you know what does a red bird symbolize you know you, you know if you go back and watch the video you know you'll know it. just look at it i'm not going to explain it because like i said it's going to be a straight to the point video but um you know like i said this is a federal holiday so why the hell we don't get off you see but 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 uh july 4th you you, you get a you get a a a, a a a a day off from work though or maybe two days off work because i know you know we get off for that day at our job at our plantations you know most jobs for for the most part get uh july 4th off man so why the hell we uh, you know why the hell june 10th we don't get off if it's a federal holiday man then they, uh more day you get off but see they're showing you that they don't give a fuck they just gave y'all niggas a little holiday to say you know you got something you know so like i said so you can so esau i mean so you can get off esau and that's what esau wanted you know esau just gave you a little bullshit ass holiday and you niggas just took off with it we finally got a holiday. Well, motherfucker, we, we do got uh, high holy days. It's in the scriptures. But you niggas don't know nothing about that, man. You know? You niggas don't know nothing about the uh, Feast of Unleavened Bread, the Passover, you know, the Day of Atonement, uh, the First Fruits, right? The uh, 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 the, uh, the Pesach. Oh, well, that was the Passover. But um, the, uh, the Feast of Dedication, right? You niggas don't know nothing about that, man. You see? The Sabbath, that's a feast day, right? The new moon, right? You niggas don't know nothing else about that, man. Uh, the Feast of Tabernacles. You niggas don't know. We got high holy days, but you niggas don't know nothing about that. Y'all think June 10th is our first holiday. That's not even a fucking real holiday. Sean, you niggas just, just lost, man. You niggas just lost. Israel, that's why I said, man, I see why the Lord is saying Isaiah 1 and 3. Uh, the ox know his own and the ass is master the crib. But Israel, my people, does not know roughly paraphrase. I see why the Lord say that, man. Because Israel's just fucking stupid, man. I see why he called uh, call us lost sheep. Our people is truly lost. We was once lost, but the Lord, 
you know, he shined his light unto us, man. So we're not in darkness anymore, man. But two thirds of my people, they still in darkness. <laughs> Thinking June tenth is our uh, is a is our first holiday, nigga. We got hot. We got hot holy days, man. But you, like I said, you niggas don't know nothing about it because y'all too fucking busy celebrating the so-called white man holidays, man. Like Christmas and you know New Year's and you know uh, 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 Halloween and shit like that. Which they all pagan holidays at the end of the goddamn day anyway, man. You see. But it says June 10th is a federal holiday in the United States uh, uh, commemorating the anticipation of enslaved African Americans. And we still live enslaved to this day, man. It said deriving its name from uh, uh, combining June and 19th. It says it is celebrated on the anniversary of the order by Major General Gordon Granger proclaiming freedom. For enslaved people in Texas on June 19, 1865. So they're just saying in, in Texas, what about the whole United States? Even though them niggas ain't truly free in Texas, but what about the whole United States? We, they not free? They're just niggas in Texas that's free? Or the brothers in Texas that's free? Really, the elect, but I was talking about lit, uh when I said, uh, when I, well, niggas, you know, two-thirds, but brothers, I don't call brothers niggas, man, you know. But, uh... Uh, damn, what I was saying. So you telling me only the people in, in, in Texas is free? <laughs> and truly, they not even free, man. They still gotta pay taxes. They still uh, still on the bottom, still under oppression, still gotta work. How the hell is they free? How the hell are you free, Jake? And then they using uh, 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 um, uh, African flag colors: uh, green, black, red. Those African colors, man. We're not hammites, man. When you go into the uh, compact Bible dictionary, it tells you the definition of ham, man. It says not the Negroes, man. We don't descend from ham, man. We just we descend from Shem, man. All right, we don't descend from no fucking stink ass hammites, Africans, the so-called Africans, man. You know. But uh, like I said, man, you know, I, I, we not truly free, man. And if you think you still free, man. Try to leave the country without a passport. That's all I'm gonna say. You're not free. You, you still need a driving license to get around. You still need a passport. If you want to travel to a different country, right? Still gotta pay rent. Still gotta pay taxes. But you free though. Free from what? Cause truly we ain't free from no damn bondage. You know. Um. Uh, and what the hell is he doing? It's like you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you picking up trash. Uh, it's like you. Yeah. Um, but uh, let's go to the scriptures, man. Uh, where are you at? It's the book of uh, Baruch. Uh. This is the book of Baruch, chapter uh, 3, and verse 8. It says, Behold, we are yet this day. We are yet this day. It didn't say we no longer in this day or this day no longer exists. It said we are yet this day in our captivity. You see? And, and what is captivity? Captivity means what? Slavery. We not fucking free. So Esau gave you niggas a bullshit ass holiday and told you that you was free. <laughs> Come on, man. Do you know what it truly means to be free? Free from payments, free from bondage, you know, free from uh, 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 prison holes. How the hell is you free? You see, it says, behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou has scattered us. Because you got to understand the Israelites are scattered what, throughout the four corners of the earth. That was one of the curses in uh, Deuteronomy 28 chapter, man. All right, even when you read the book of uh, James, which really supposed to be the first book of the bible but you niggas don't know that right you think matthews is the first book but really it's supposed to be uh uh, uh james right because when you read the book of james the first chapter the first verse it says to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad right showing you that uh the israelites were scattered man you see it says behold we are yet this day in our captivity meaning slavery where thou has scattered us for a reproach and a curse. You see, we are reproaching a curse to these nations. They hate us, right? They look down upon us, 
They treat us like shit, man. You know? Um, it says, for reproaching a curse and to be subject to payments. You see that? We subject to payments. Like I was saying earlier, you still got to pay your bills, your light bills, car payment, taxes, food, water, which water should be free. You still got to pay that. You know, luckily, you know, we don't got to pay water water bill over here, you know. Well, you know, you want to drink bottled water or whatnot, you got to pay for it, which, like I said, it's just, it still should be free regardless, you know. But that, that that's just show you, man. You saw the fucking devil, man. It says be subject to payments, right? So you niggas still subject to payments. So how the fuck is you free? That's why I said, man, Esau just gave you niggas a, a gave you niggas a little holiday just to shut y'all fucking mouths, man. You know. Because, and then y'all wonder why uh, 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 Esau don't take you niggas serious, man. Because y'all don't even take y'all damn self serious, man. You know, Esau just can easily get over you niggas easily. See, he can't do that with the elect. That's why. He got to get carnal with us, man. That's why it tells you in the book of uh, Revelation, the toy child, I believe, verse 17, the last verse, it tell you the, the uh, dragon was wroth with the woman, right? Why is he wroth with the woman? Because the, the woman is exposing his ass. The woman represents who? Israel. You see, that's why he hate the elect, because the the elect can't be fooled by Esau, man, because the Lord, the Lord is revealing those secrets into us, man. The Lord got his light shining upon us, man. You see? So it says, uh, for reproach and a curse, and to be subject to payments according to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord Yahabashiah Abashai. You see that? So the reason we went into captivity, because our forefathers sinned against Yahabashiah Abashai, man. You see? So let's get, uh, probably get this last scripture um, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 16. Right, because you like I said, you niggas still think you free, but nigga, you still you still on the bottom, right? You still getting shot dead in the streets, right? You still gotta work, right? <laughs> Deuteronomy twenty eight verse sixteen, and this is one of the curses, right? When you read up time verse fifteen, matter of fact, I read it. It tell you the Lord, the Lord, the Lord told you what He was gonna do if we disobeyed Him. Deuteronomy twenty eight fifteen it says, "But it should come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord Yahweh by Shem, I will shout thy God to observe." To do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses should come upon thee and overtake thee. You see that? So the Lord said, "You don't do what I do. What I said, do like keep my commandments." The six hundred thirteen at that time. Hey, guess what? He said he was gonna put these curses upon us. But when you read uh, to the top, Deuteronomy one and one. I mean, not Deuteronomy one and one. Not Deuteronomy one and one. But Deuteronomy twenty one. He tell you that these was gonna be the blessings if we did his commandments, but. Clearly, clearly, as you see, we did not do that. So that's why we receive these curses. So one of the curses was literally the next verse, verse 16. It says, Curse should not be in the city, and curse should not be in the field. Now, who's cursing the city and who's cursing the field? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But right now, I'm talking about you Negroes, man. You know, because they gave y'all this holiday saying that y'all free. Which truly, y'all not are free, man. Y'all not free. Right? It just said, Curse should not be in the city, meaning you, you're going to be shot down in the streets. Right, you're gonna be uh, 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 looked down upon. You know, when you, even when you go to these other nation stores beside Esau, when you go in the Moab store, what they tell you? Uh, hurry up and buy. Hurry. You saw that? <laughs> you saw that in the movie? Uh, what was that movie? Um, um, Don't be a menace while sipping your juice in the hood. You know, with the Wayne brothers, man. You know, when they went to the Moab store, what 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 the little, the little Moab bitch say? Hurry up and buy. Hurry up and buy. And then when Esau walked in. You know, they smiled all in his face. You see that? We, that's showing you, man. We under these curses, man. When you saw the true fucking thief, man. And then the thing is, uh, Jake didn't even steal nothing out of the store. Jake brought what they brought when we watched the movies. Esau was the main one stealing. And then when Esau tried to walk out and the dude saw him stealing the shit, he said, hey, 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 you forgot something. This man had, uh, gave Esau damn near a right, man, a money. That show you, man, we under these curses, man. You know, and then it says, uh, curse should not be in the city and curse should not be in the field. And see, we the modern day field would be what? The plantations. You know, back then, you know, with actual fields, us working in those fields, you know, where our ancestors were, which we are our ancestors coming back. But it said curse should not be in the field, meaning, you know, in these plantations, the, 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 uh, the jobs were working, man. 
You see, we the first ones uh, fired, last one hired, right? We on the bottom, man. First, that's crazy, man. We the first ones. Uh, we the last ones to get hired, but the first ones to get fired when some shit go down, man. Show me we under these curses, man. We not free, man. We still, like I said, man, we still gotta work, man. But you niggas free. You niggas, that's why I said, man, you niggas just, you niggas just thank you free. Y'all got so-called freedom, man. So-called free. Esau just gave you niggas a little liberty, you know. You know, he just gave y'all a little, a little, you know, a little breather. But Lord about to shut all that down very, very soon, man. You know. Well, we're going to uh, end it with that, man. Lord willing, this video was edifying. I'm going to close out with giving all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rechak Shalom to the next time. Shalom.